guys, my name is Lily and today I'm really excited because I have a new Geiger counter by Images Scientific Instruments and the model is called GCA06W. Alright, so this is the box that the Geiger counter comes in and basically on front here you can see all of the information uh, what the Geiger counter can do. Uh, then also here it's saying that this device can detect background radiation as well as natural occurring radioactive materials as well as technologically enhanced naturally occurring radioactive materials. Besides the Geiger counter you will also get a downloadable ebook which is included with your purchase. Uh, with this ebook you can learn how to use a Geiger counter, how to perform various nuclear experiments, how to measure background radiation, detecting low level radioactivity in food which is really uh, important. You will learn about the inverse square law and more. So that's a pretty awesome book and I will definitely get it. Alright, so here we go. This is my new Geiger counter. Okay, here we got a user manual. Here we have a calibration certificate. Then this is a data cable which can connect to your computer. This is a power cable. And that's the Geiger counter. Really awesome. So what I really like about this Geiger counter is that you can use a 9 volt battery. So other Geiger counters have a battery at the inside which is not accessible and that I really don't like. So I really like that they are using standard batteries. Okay, so now let's switch on the power switch which is this one. So here you can see this LED is sometimes blinking and it's called parts and it's going to uh, blink every time a radioactive particle is detected by the Geiger counter. So this is a secondary uh, radioactive particle indicator and also it's making a sound as you can hear when it's detecting any radiation. In this um, instant it's just background radiation. Then also here we have an indicator for low battery. This is the power switch. With this switch here you can turn off um, the sound. So sometimes you don't want to attract any attention and then switching off the sound is a good thing. But then you still have um, the pulse LED. Yeah, then here you have another switch which can switch off and on the background to save some battery. And then here you have a switch um, which is letting you decide between millisievert and millirad per hour. So now you have millirad. Also this Geiger counter is really awesome because it lets you uh, decide between CPS mode which is counts per second. Then the Geiger counter will count 10,000 counts per second or CPM mode which is counts per minute and uh, this is a setting that you would use for background radiation. Now let's check out uh, the side here. Uh, you have three connection points to headphones, data output and external power. Okay so now let's check out the manual here. So what are the limitations of this Geiger counter? It can measure everything accurately uh, within 5% from background radiation to 1000 millirad per hour. So yeah, that's pretty good. Um, we have a wide range of measuring. All right, so now let's check out the features of this Geiger counter and why I'm so excited about it. Um, this Geiger counter cannot only detect X-rays, gamma radiation and beta radiation, but also alpha radiation. And alpha radiation is... Um, not for certain with every Geiger counter. So most Geiger counters only detect beta and gamma, but uh, very often not alpha radiation. Also, the Geiger counter comes with this wand here, and I like that because if there's something broken inside, you can always, you know, get another wand and connect it to the Geiger counter, so you don't have to throw away the entire device. Next, you can see 
a couple of louvers here at the side and this is so that some beta radiation can penetrate through the plastic here and access the side of the Geiger Müller tube. Now the Geiger Müller tube inside is filled with neon and halogen gas and at the end it has a mica window which is underneath this protective end cap. So if you take off this end cap you can actually detect alpha radiation. And the mica window is very sensitive so you always want to use the end cap um, as a protection and only if you really want to measure alpha radiation you take it off. So here it's telling us about the difference between when you should choose CPS and CPM. So CPS is counts per second and it's going to give you real-time radiation readings and CPM counts per minute is a one minute counting mode for measuring low levels of radioactivity and background radiation. So that's pretty cool that you can switch between the two modes. Then also they are offering a radiation monitoring, a free software that you can download and then you can take a look at your measurings. So that's pretty awesome. Also here it's telling us again about the radiation resolution and range. So it's going from 0.01 microsieverts to 10 millisieverts per hour. So next I would like to show you my radioactive source. This is a watch which is actually radioactive and I found it on a flea market in Vienna. So back in the day they were searching for a material which is fluorescent in the night and uh, here you can see that the hands, the clock hands, but also the numbers are fluorescent. And uh, they didn't know back then that this is actually harmful so yeah, that's my radioactive material that I want to test out, but because it's in a plastic bag and also because of the glass and because of the back side, uh, the case, we cannot actually detect the alpha radiation which is coming from it. So most of the radiation that comes from this watch now is beta radiation and a little bit of gamma radiation. All right, so now I have dimmed the light a little bit so you can see the LCD uh, screen better. And first we are going to measure beta and gamma radiation through the side here, through the louvers. Also I want to see how fast the Geiger counter is reacting. Um, because some Geiger counters they are reacting really slowly. But this one seems to be reacting quite fast. So that's a good sign, that means that the Geiger Müller tube is very sensitive. Okay, now I lay the Geiger Müller tube directly on the watch from the side. Okay, we get around 22 microsieverts, but it's jumping around between 17, 18 and 25 ish. So the average is about 20 microsieverts. All right, so next I want to test if we get a higher reading, if we take off the end cap. Oh yes, oh yes, look at that. Now we are at 70 microsieverts. Oh my God. Oh my god, this is really hot. That's crazy. All right, so now I've connected the Geiger counter with this computer program, digital Geiger counter light. And now I wanna see if we can get some uh, readings on the computer as well. So first we are going to detect gamma and beta radiation through the side window here. Okay, so now I take it off. You can see that it's reacting really fast. Then next I'm going to take off the end cap. Okay, and now let's do another reading. Okay, 
So here you can see the graph. Let's press stop. Also now I want to do another reading, which is background radiation. So now I want to switch to CPM. So now I'm going to wait for a minute and then we know what the background radiation is. Ah, actually I have to remove the watch because it's rather close. Alright, so here it's saying that most of the time the background radiation is at 0 0.05 millirad per hour. Sometimes there are peaks, um, but most of the time it's staying here. Alright guys, I have to say I'm really impressed with this Geiger counter. It has a lot of functions, especially uh, you can use it together with a computer program. And also it's very easy to use, right? So um, there's no complicated functions, everything is easy to understand. And uh, I really like the option of the alpha radiation detection by removing the end cap. So I think that's a really good uh, wand. So really awesome uh, Geiger counter. I really do like it and it's definitely a keeper. Okay guys, so if you're interested in this Geiger counter, make sure that you visit uh, Images Scientific Instruments and I will leave a link in the description below on where you can purchase this really awesome Geiger counter. I think it's important to have a Geiger counter, especially in these times where things are just not for certain and uh, cannot be taken for granted. So it's always good to be prepared. And um, I really do hope we never need Geiger counters, but you never know. So yeah, thank you for watching guys and stay tuned till next time.